I am Anil Kumar and here is an excellent real life situation where we are going to evaluate the value of logarithms. Kepler's relation log of d equals to 3 over 2 log of k minus 0.7. It relates distance k in millions of kilometers with the number of days d for a planet to complete one revolution around the sun. Determine approximate distance of earth from sun. So this is a very famous equation. Let me write it down once again. It is log of d where d is the number of days a planet takes to complete one revolution around the sun. For earth how many days does it take? We all know it is 365, right? Knowing these number of days we can actually calculate the distance of earth from sun. So that's the beauty of this equation, right? Now since we know that d equals to 365, we can substitute d as 365 in this equation and then calculate the distance of earth from sun. So let's do it. So we get log of 365 equals to 3 over 2 log of k minus 0 0.7. So we can now rearrange it bringing 0 0.7 to the right side. We get 0 0.7 plus log of 365 I mean 365 equals to 3 over 2 log of k and then we can multiply this by 2 over 3 so we get 2 over 3 times 0 0.7 plus log of 365 equals to log of k right so let's use the calculator to find the answer so we get uh, log of 365 log of 365 so always base 10 if nothing else is mentioned right plus 0.7 that gives us 3.26 we'll multiply by 2 and then divide by 3 so that gives us 2.174.86 2.174.86 is equals to log of k now how are you going to find the value of k from this value so we know log of k is equals to 2.174.86. Now from here how can you find k? That is the next question. This is to the base 10. We can write it in exponential form, right? So we get k equals to 10 to the power of 2.174.86. Remember this is how many kilometers? Millions of kilometers, okay? So we already have 2.174.86 in our calculator. We can say 10 to the power of the answer, which is equal to, it says 149.57. So we can approximate this to 150 million kilometers, correct? So that is the approximate distance of Earth from the Sun, and we can easily find it with the help of this excellent equation from Kelpers. I think that's that's a beautiful thing. I hope you all appreciate and understand it. Now we'll take another example where we do the reverse of the thing. Knowing the distance in millions, we can find how much days should Earth take to go around the sun, right? So we'll do that part in the next video. Thank you and all the best.